have you ever abandoned your prescription medications at the pharmacy counter just because the cost was just too expensive? Well, did you know that the cost of medications actually varies from pharmacy to pharmacy? Joining me now is Doug Hirsch. He's the co-founder of GoodRx. It's a free mobile app that helps you find the lowest cost for your prescriptions. Welcome, Doug. Thank you, Elsa. So explain to me, why is it that drug prices vary so widely? It turns out there's no set price list. We assume that the guy in the white uh, shirt, you know, at the, at the pharmacy counter has a set price list, and there isn't. Pharmacy prices can vary and be whatever the pharmacy sets them at or whatever their insurance contracts lead them to be, which is why consumers need to do their homework. So how are the prices of prescription drugs actually set if, they're, if they vary so much? You know, there are super complicated contracts between insurance companies and pharmacies. The net result is that you, the patient, can often end up paying way more than you should, which is why you need to do your homework, and that's why GoodRx exists. So, also, can you tell me why it's possible that even with your copay, that that might not be your lowest price? Sure. So a $10 copay, you know, sounds reasonably good to most consumers, but the reality is we can find hundreds of drugs that are often less than the $10 copay, as low as maybe $4 or even free. And so oftentimes even $10 is not what consumers are paying anymore because there's deductibles and all sorts of restrictions and insurance. And GoodRx helps you find the lowest price regardless whether you have insurance or not. So how does GoodRx help us find the lowest cost for medications then? Sure. So all we do is we gather prices and, and discounts at every pharmacy near you. So a consumer comes to GoodRx, you type in the first three letters of the drug, and then we'll show you all of the prices at every pharmacy near you and all these really interesting discounts and ways that consumers can save. That's amazing. It's something that I think that we can all use, whether we're getting medication from time to time or if we have a reoccurring medication that we need. So what are or are there any options for those who might be uninsured? Yeah, uninsured people need the most help, right? Because they're, they're huge gaps and the price can be so high. A drug that should cost $4 could cost 200 So using GoodRx, you can simply type in the name of the drug. Again, the coupons are built right in and you can find a price that may even be better than an insurance person's price. So it's really important to do your homework. If you don't have insurance, you need the most help and we're there for you. I love that this app is making it so easy for us as consumers. <laughs> it just streamlines the whole process. Where can our viewers go for more information on this app? Sure, it's real simple. You just go to GoodRx.com or you can download our mobile app on the iOS or Android app stores. Just type in GoodRx. Okay, great. So you're, you're uh, set for iPhones and Androids, the app is. We work on every platform. Okay, exactly. Okay, great. Got to ask that nowadays. You never know. Thank you so much, Doug. Really appreciate you being here. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.